Is the Note 7 the phone that you should get? That's coming up. What's up dudes, I'm the Reviews Dude, and today we got the first phone that we have on the channel. We have the Note 7, and I'll try to answer the question, should you buy it? Samsung did with this newest phone is they took all the good features from the S7 and S7 Edge, combined it with what they already had with the Note series, and added some extra new features of its own. As for why they skipped the Note 6, they didn't really give an explanation, but it kind of lines up with the S series anyway, so I'll assume that that's the reason. For starters, it has a premium feel and the curved edges give it a great feel in the hand, even with the larger screen. As I mentioned, the specs are very similar to what you get with the S7 Edge. That's the Snapdragon 820 processor and four gigs of RAM. Now onto the hardware, they have their adjusted dual edge display. So that means they move the curves more towards the edges. So that gives you more screen with smaller curves at the end which equals pretty much no bezel. Since they curve it equally in the back, it gives it that great feel in the hand. Surrounded on the front and back with Gorilla Glass 5, which gives it a really premium feel, but it's still a fingerprint magnet. And when I said that they used the good features from the S7 Edge, that definitely holds true for the camera, which is the exact same camera that they have on the S7 Edge, but I think that's a really good thing. I mean, this is arguably the best low light shooter on the market. The 12 megapixel camera, the f1.7 shooter with optimal image stabilization and the crazy fast autofocus. They're getting faster and faster with every phone. Storage. It comes with 64 gig of onboard storage and up to 256 gig of expandable storage. Thank you Samsung for bringing that back. They stepped up their water resistance game making this phone IP68 waterproof. And the stylus is also waterproof so you don't have to worry at all if this thing falls in the toilet or if it's raining or you could use it underwater to take some pictures with its awesome camera. Now since it's a note that means a bigger display. So it's got the 5.7 inch quad HD Samsung Super AMOLED display which in my opinion is the best display on the market hands down. It has a larger battery than the S7 storing a 3500 milliamp hour battery which should last you all day and the quick charge gives you almost 1% Per minute. Honestly, batteries in general just need to get a lot better, but I'll save that for another video. And of course, it being a Note brings a new and improved S Pen. There's a lot more sensors in the tip, which makes it feel like you're almost writing with an actual pen. And I really had a lot of fun with it. Easily switch between pen, pencil, paintbrush, color, or shade. Combine that with the ability to use it on the always on feature, and that's not only fun, but it's very useful. Thankfully, they did the simple fix of not allowing you to be able to put the pen in backwards. My favorite S Pen feature was definitely the GIF or GIF feature. Comment below which side you're on. But no matter which side you're on, the ability to make one so easily with the S Pen, you gotta enjoy that. And I definitely look forward to all the creative ones that you guys send me on social media. To charge it, you have a USB Type-C cable. This is the first Samsung phone to have that. So what that means is faster charging and it goes in both ways. It also supports wireless charging, which makes it possible to get a wireless charging case, with nothing connected to it. A new security feature that we haven't seen on any other phone yet is the iris scanner. Since it uses a dedicated infrared sensor, not the front facing camera, it is very accurate. It should work very well in all situations. And it does a great job complementing the already pretty awesome fingerprint scanner. Software is a bit tuned up, but pretty much what you would expect from a Samsung phone. Should you buy the phone? If you have $1,000, this is definitely the phone to spend it on. It's, in my opinion, the best phone on the market. It has the build, camera, display, battery life, and performance that you'd expect from a phone in this price range. If you're interested, I'll link it below as always. It's available in four colorways, black, blue, gold, and silver. Let me know what you think of the Note 7. Is it the best phone on the market? Is it worth the price? I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this and you're new here, we'd love to have you subscribe. I'm just a guy in a mission to be the best tech reviewer that I could be. So if you also believe that technology is our future and it's something to get excited about, hit that subscribe button. Always remember, sharing is caring. Signing out, this is The Reviews Dude. And as always, let's get excited.